Hey guys, welcome back to Explore Electronics. In this video, let us try to understand how to write a CMOS circuit for some complex expressions. So let us take some complex expressions into consideration and uh, let us try to write the CMOS circuit for that. So first example I am taking here is y is equal to a plus bc whole bar. This is the expression we have. Now we need to write the CMOS circuit for this. Here we have three inputs like a, b and c. If we have three inputs as we know in CMOS logic we require 2 into number of inputs as transistors. It means 2 into 3 that is 6 transistors is required. Out of 6, 3 NMOS transistors are required and 3 PMOS transistors are required. These 3 NMOS transistors are required in pull down network and 3 PMOS transistors are required in pull up network. Let us try to write the circuit now. We have A plus BC. So first I am going to write the pull down network here. Later I will come to the pull up network. So in the pull down I am writing one N transistor and we need to provide the gate input as the inputs over here. The gate of this let it be A and this A will be in plus with B into C. This is B into C. So B into C in the sense we need to have two transistors with gate inputs B and one more transistor with gate input C connected in series. These two now are in series. This is a single transistor. Now we need to connect these two and connect it to ground and we need to connect these two also. Now these two BC transistors are in parallel with the A transistor. This gives the output A plus B dot C. To get the complementary output what we need to have? We need to have a pull up network with P transistors. So again for this A parallel with BC in series now in pull up we need to have BC in parallel and that will be in series with A transistor. So first let me take a single A transistor over here. This is of P type with input A and this A will be in parallel with BC series in pull down that becomes series over here and BC should be in parallel over here. So let me take one more P transistor with gate input B and this will be in parallel with one more P transistor with gate input C. These two should be parallel first. Now this A becomes series with this and we need to connect these two. Here we need to provide VDD to the circuit and from the junction of pull down as well as pull up transistors we need to take the output Y and here it is ground. This is what the circuit for y is equal to a plus b into c whole bar. Now let me take some complex expression and let us try to understand more about writing the circuit. y is equal to a into b plus c into d plus e whole bar. Here we will be having here we will be having 5 inputs so we require total 10 transistors. So here also let me write the pull down network first. So AB in series, CD in series, E is a single transistor. So first let me write AB in series. So the N transistor with gate input A and one more N transistor with gate input B should be in series. First write this much. Then plus we have, plus in the sense this should be in parallel with this. So we need to write C into D first. So let me write in the same fashion this input C transistor, this is input D, D transistor, these two are in series now. Okay, Then these two should be parallel. So we need to connect these two parallel first. Then we have one more transistor E transistor. Let me take this E transistor. This transistor with input E should be parallel with these two. That's why we have plus one plus over here. So this should be grounded. This is ground now. This is the pull down network. In the pull up network what we need to do? These two in series will become parallel P transistor network. These two in series become parallel. This is a single transistor. It is parallel to these two that becomes series. So similarly as we did in the previous example here also first let me write transistor E with P MOSFET 
I am going to connect these two. And similarly, CD are in series here. That is in parallel with E. Now it becomes series with E and these two become parallel. So here directly let me write. This is input C transistor. This is input D transistor. These two are in parallel. Now are in series with E. Similarly, we need to take AB also. This is transistor A with gate input A. This is transistor with gate input B. These two should be again in parallel and connected to VDD. These two should be connected. And this is the N network that is pull down network. And this is P transistor network. This is pull up network. So from here, we need to take the output Y. This gives A into B plus C into D plus E whole bar. This is how we can write the CMOS circuits. Now, let us go ahead and let us mention the terminals of the transistors over here. First, remember, whenever we are going to connect the P transistor network to VDD, that becomes source of the transistors. Source of the two transistors will be connected to VDD. Similarly, the source of the transistors in N network will be connected to ground. And obviously, once we mention the source, the remaining terminal will be drain since we have connected the inputs to the gate. This is drain, this is drain, this is source. Now comes the pull down network where we have mentioned source for these transistors. Now we can mention the drain terminals. This is drain, this is drain of these three transistors. And now we need to mention the other transistors terminals. Before going to that, remember, go with the output terminal. The output will always be taken from the drain of the transistors. This should be drain. And these three transistors we have connected to the output terminal. So these three should be drain, drain, drain. This is already drain. Now it is easy to mention what is the terminal for this. This is source. This becomes source. Here source and drain of these two transistors are connected. We can connect those two, no problem. And in the pull up network, this is already drain. This becomes source of the transistor with gate input E. Similarly, the first two transistors we have written. Here is the transistors with gate input C and D. You need to mention the terminals. In this case, what we can do, we can use the method like, since here is the source, let me consider these two as source. Since here is the drain, we can consider this as drain drain or we can consider this as the source and source and drain and drain also, no issues. This advantage we can take while writing the layout. This is how we can write the CMOS circuit for any expressions which given as whole bar. Here also we'll be having a whole bar expression. Y is equal to A plus B, A plus B into C whole bar. Similarly, A into B plus C into D plus C e whole bar. These two expressions are very, very important for the exam point of view. Repeatedly, they will ask to write the circuit for these expressions. And also, they will be asking to write the stick diagram, stick diagram for these, as well as layout structure for these. So these two are very, very important. Repeatedly asked in your uh, exams, you can see the previous exam question papers. This is the end of the video. In the next video, let us see to write the stick diagram and layout for these examples. Thank you.